Oh. Hello friends, I'm Tunnel H here, and welcome back to Space Engineers! Hello! We're here with Shiva, where are you at? Are we up the stairs now? Okay, you're supposed to be here. What is... What is that? You're a robot. Yep. Oh, is that... I think I saw this on the, um... Workshop. Yep. You're like Chappy. Mm-hmm. I got two versions. This is the Mark II version. Wait, stop turning. Let me see the... Oh, it's so cool. It looks like you're made out of uh, bits and bobs from the game. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. You can, get, you can get the Mark I version to take a look at. It just goes to the mid bay. Can I fix you? No. <laughs> Apparently, I can weld, weld you. <laughs> but the thing is about this thing, guy, it's actually a full robot. It doesn't require oxygen. And it's faster than normal space engineers. Oh, it actually has gameplay impact? Yeah, come come downstairs and look. Uh, let's do a quick run test. It'd be cool if it was just a cosmetic. I can weld you. Why can I weld you? Is this healing you, Shiva? <laughs> I don't know. You need to take some damage. I need to shoot you with a gun or something, and then weld you and see if it heals you. Well, first, let's do a test. Let me show you how fast this thing. Watch, what You know how fast you can run, right? I guess. I'm basically already done. Yeah, I'm I... both basically double the speed of a space okay. engineer. I wanna... It also it doesn't require oxygen, and also the only downside is it's with its speed and everything, and it's basically made where it weighs more, so it requires more hydrogen. That's very interesting. Can I hurt you with this without killing you? You can try. Did you take damage? Eight. Yeah. How much damage did you take? Twenty. Okay. Are you healing? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I gotta go to the med bay now. What? You almost killed me. I was down to two percent. What with the welder? Yeah. I thought the welder. Man, stupid robot. I thought the welder would heal you. Wait, so it was the damage from the, the drill, like, uh... Okay, so you still heal the normal way. Mm-hmm. That'd be so cool if you could... Yeah, but... Click here, you get the other version of the robot. This is the Mark II, you get the Mark I. Okay. How do I do that? Go to... Go, click on that, and then just at the top, there should be a drop-down list, and look at the Ah! Bottom. Uh... Onus suit? Black maze, it... multi-terrain soldier... It says Snowbot. Snowbot Mark mm -hmm. One. Yeah. Take my. Oh, you can't tell when your helmet's off because you're a robot. <laughs> I've got a camera for a face. I got a laser antenna. Hey, this is pretty you have cool. So Mine's more of a military kind of style. Your car's more is cool. You're more of a utility thing. Hey, I like this. With, with this. We'll be Whoa! Able, we'll be able to get places faster. Oh darn it! They didn't fix the, they didn't fix that yet, did they? I don't think so. Maybe that's why I got going with zero health at one point. Do I have zero oxygen? Oh, oh because don't you don't it. need oxygen. Oh. They didn't fix the you die if you touch someone bug. All yeah. right, so what are we doing? Well, first I'm getting my stuff back in it. <laughs> okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? Where'd the rover go? I'll show you. Hang on. All right, Sheaves. First, let me show you what's new at the base here. Indeed. Oh, I see something that's new. Say hello to our missile turret. Nice. It looks custom made. It looks cool. Wait, you're able yeah. to have a rotor on both sides without screwing anything up? Yeah, I just need a merge block to connect them. Oh, that's cool. So it looks really nice. Basically, until you use a merge block. Both rotor heads are counted as separate ships. Oh, okay. It looks very nice. That's how I did. That's how I did the other thing over there. Okay. That's, that's why it has both ends. Did you design this, or? I just I just built this on a fly. Nice. It looks good. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's cool. And let's see. Come with me. Indeed. You guys will notice we did some painting of the base. The yeah. floor has like blue on it now. It's kind of neat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are we looking at now? Down the ice field. Oh, what is that? The dry dock for a ship I'm going to build. Very cool. And down there's a river you can just stand I by. see the river down there. Mm hmm And today, you're going mining. I am going mining. That is the plan. I wonder how fast we could run over there. You should send me the GPS coordinates. Copy. Let's see. Enter. Control V. There you go. 
Or it's site believe... one, silicon, magnesium, and nickel. Did you get it into your GPS list? Show on HUD. Yes, I do. What about iron? Why is the music so creepy right now? I don't know. It's like those little creepy string there's plucks. Or... There's another ore site. Iron. Good. I'm gonna give you more. Okay, so the I so the, oh okay, good good good. I got I got five points here. This I like she's iron cobalt and nickel the ferrous metals. Mm -hmm. We're still missing gold and silver though. We'll find it. Mhm. Mm yeah, at least then there's a lot of resources in and around this ice field. Mhm. Mm Mostly ah, just in the go. ice field. Uranium. Mhm. Mm okay, so over here we have. Iron ore site, mm -hmm. silicon, magnesium, and nickel ore site, iron, cobalt, nickel ore site, and iron ore site, and uranium, silicon, magnesium ore site. Which one do we need the uh, in, in the most at the moment? Um, nickel and cobalt, actually, I believe. All right, I'll head over to the iron. Let me cobalt just double and check. Site. Let me check. Let me just double check what's in Atlas containers. Real quick to be sure. I'm flying over there with my jetpack. Yeah, we need cobalt. We actually we're good on nickel for a bit, but Going super fast. we need cobalt. So how'd you find out there was iron, cobalt, and nickel over here? You just walked oh, over. Oh, ore detector on the ah, um, yes. rover. Now right now the guy's actually looking for a way where these robots carry more, but he he's he's kinda of clueless on how that works. Right. So I see there's iron over here down in the depths. Mm-hmm. Also, these uh, these robots have more health than standard station years. Whoa, of whoa! My jetpack seems to be more powerful too. Yeah, but it also takes like twice as much hydrogen as I normal. Flew up in the air really fast. It was very scary. I like this. I like this music. All right, so you guys know I'm recording this with OBS, so we're gonna see how good of a job it does. We're pretty sure it's gonna do a better job at, at, at Space Engineers than Fraps because it's. Fully compatible with DirectX 11? Mm-hmm. Right. Yep, last time I checked it, it is. There's a bit of uh, an unusual effect that occurs when I'm mining sheaves. What happened? Under certain is... circumstances, my character does not respond to the gravity of no longer having ground underneath them until I tap the movement key. I... Um, what about... is there... I have... if it's a problem with animation... No, like no, I can... I'm just... I can be literally uh, hovering in the air. It's Do you have a jetpack on? No. It just no, it, if I if, if if the ground underneath me is destroyed very quickly, like with the drill, mm -hmm. then so you, what, you keep your drill I gave you. Yeah, my character model does not respond, and I'm just hovering in the in the air like a like a Looney Tunes cartoon. Mm -hmm. You know, they never fall to the ground until they realize that there's nothing. They never fall until they realize there's nothing. Underneath. It doesn't sound like it sounds like a decent because you do because it sounds like you're not not like responding properly to the gravity then it doesn't happen all the time but yeah I'm either not... that or you're just standing on the ice rocks remember keep all the ice rocks oh I, I need the power things i used my right click to get down to the cobalt oh, that's fine you still have to clear out ice to get to oh, mine yeah. it, so. plus you know there's a million there's a million tons of ice all around us mm -hmm. Okay, my inventory is full. And... I need, I need, I need a mobile. What I need is a, is a. Oh wow, your marker is flipped upside down over here. I, what I need is like a mobile storage container. Yeah. I need a storage container that I can have with me over there, um, so that I can store large amounts of resources. Do we have, have enough resources at the base to build a storage container? Yes, but I have an idea on what to do for you. Okay. Hang on what, one is, second. what is your idea, Sheaves? Just a cargo, just a flying cargo crate. A flying cargo crate. Need a small ship. You're gonna build a small ship that's basically just a cargo crate, and an engine, and a cockpit. <laughs> no, it's gonna be a drone. What? It's, if you're, it's gonna be a drone. You have to fly. A drone. Ah, uh, you know what would be awesome is if you could create a ship like a little drone that will just follow you around. Oh yeah, you can do that. You can. But the mod that I have is broken right now. Cause oh, of, it's cause a mod, space. okay. Yeah. Okay, I've got 8,000 cobalt kilograms. Uh, 8,294 kilograms. Why doesn't it change it to megagrams? 
Or wait, what's after kilograms? Well, after kilograms, it should be megagrams, right? I believe so. Yeah, that's how the decimal system works. Ow. I'm always, getting, I'm always hurting myself. By falling. I'm too used to space, Chiefs. Mm-hmm. Well, this is now how survival works. Indeed. Ah, I found the iron. Granted, you can still start it, start in space, but you have trouble with it then. Indeedles. Here, I believe it's red. I like the music so much in this game. I love the violins and cellos. Because I really love classical music. Mm -hmm. I think it always works. You know? Like, you can put classical music in any genre or type of game, and it'll be, it'll be great. It'll work. Other types yeah. of music would be inappropriate for certain types of games, but not not classical. You can put classical in anything. A horror game, uh, grand strategies, space games, get fantasy games. Yeah. Literally any genre. Wow. Wow. My my jetpack is very responsive. My character feels yeah. Could, actually, you have no lag right now because I just turned off the gun script. Yeah, d d it's really really good. We we'll have to restart. No, the base script is still going. That's good. Really really good. Let's see. Tiered echo. Wait, do you have a refinery on this thing? On the rover? No. Okay, then I'll need to take back this. Resources. I'm now building your drone. And I'll need to bring these back to the base. Let's see, how much do the big ones left? I can do this to get away with just two, maybe three. Alrighty, alrighty. We need to build, we need to build like a mining base. Yeah. In, in, close to all of those ore sites. Just a, a little base with a refinery. Don't worry, I have plans to build a, build a mining drone. A base with a refinery and... Basically, that's it. You got a lot of tools in here. Grinders, hand drills, welders, rifles. <laughs> yeah, we have to destroy them soon. So yeah, it's literally just a cargo container with engines right now. That's that's so funny. Yep. All right. Let's see. We need to go uh, locate the nickel. I just want to I want to dig initial boreholes all the way down to where the resources are so that. We have access to them. Go down. Six, fifteen, fourteen, set twelve, eleven. Oh, hey, there's more silicon there. Eight. Aha! This is magnesium. Oh, no, this is stone. Okay. Well, I've, I've I know how I know how deep the uh, the, the ice is now. The ice is uh. Around 20 meters deep. Is there one? There we go. Red. Oh well. Wow. Whoa. Back to the rover and put my ice in it. Go and sit in here. Fill up my hydrogen. Hydrogen is fill. Let's keep my lamp on. Oh, it's getting dark. Now, are there cyber wolves here? Cyber no, I disable them. Like I said. Yeah, they like seem said, really overpowered. No, actually, they're more annoying because basically, with, with the shield mod, we're basically one hundred percent safe. But the thing is, over time, they will cave out a hole under your base, and they'll just sink under. That's the only problem I've noticed. Yeah, it seems like a significant problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see that the crate is now on the ground. <laughs> Mind game back. What? Oh, in the way? Yeah. Well, unless you want to get welded. No. Alright, I'm going to go back to the uranium site. Get down to that magnesium. Aha, I found the magnesium, Shiva. I'm going to get some. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, yeah. the magnesium is down in the rock. I wish there was a way to tell how much there was in a vein. Yeah, yeah, same here. You know, like the ore detector will tell you the approximate amount of ore, of ore in kilograms. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, uranium. Now I gotta go get you. The uranium field is actually... What? Almost off the ice. <laughs> right at the edge. Yeah. Or, and it's very deep. It's gonna be down in the, in the rock. I just hope the guy who made these characters actually just figure out how to increase their inventory. It would be nice if, like, your robot had, like, a, like, a, like, more than, like, 4,000 liter space, and mine could have, like, because it's a little bit bigger and tougher, could have, like, like, a couple hundred. Right. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. <laughs> Production. I really like this drill. <laughs> mm hmm Well, don't lose that, because I'm only giving you one. Yeah, I've, uh... Destroyed too many of the things you've made for me. Is that why you're making that a drone so that I can't possibly destroy it? <laughs> I just want to make sure you can't, you can't even fly down any, at all. Without pro I'll make sure it, you, you, I'm going to make sure you can never destroy it. I'm going to put a special program on this I found. <laughs> An anti destruction program? An anti It'll be auto, it's it's going to be an auto hover program that keeps it level. Oh, make sure you that sounds cool. That sounds really cool. So it's just gonna follow me around. No, you have to pro you have to control it, but it should you should you should never you should never have a problem with keeping it level. That's the thing. Right. Let's see what am I doing again? I am excited about this. It sounds cool. I didn't run into you, did I? I don't think. I don't even know where you are. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Well, it's on at least, and batteries are being trained so fast before. Yeah. Let's see character tools. No, let's see. Power. All right, I like I like how the lights come on when I come inside too. That was a good one. Why does the red "you're getting hurt" thing show up when you heal? They never used to. I do didn't that. know. They must have added that. I don't know why they would. Whoa, are those all batteries? Yeah. Are you gonna put a solar panel on top of it? Solar panel. I'm also have a link to the base for power. Just, just because I don't know how far you're out. You're going to so at least you have some range before. Indeed. Oh man, it's good to be back in Space Engineers. Mm -hmm. And with no lag. If you want lag, and you just turn on the gun script. And yeah, then don't do that. Like... <laughs> we don't want lag. It was pretty annoying. Oh man, it's so smooth now. Ah, so smooth. The FPS. So good. Oh, I almost touched you. Shiva, how come you're hovering in the air? I'm in the welder. What? I'm in the welder thing. What welder thing? The one that's right now welding the, the drone. I see nothing. Wait, you oh. mean you're in a ship? Yes. Uh, that ship is invisible to me. I can walk straight through where it probably is. As far hey, as my... You just, actually, you just knocked it. Oh, what? You knocked it. You pushed it away. Oh, how am I? how did I do that? I don't know. As far as my game is concerned, it doesn't exist. Well, you're having desync issues. Though. That's very strange. Let me check my network in here. Everything, oh, uh, everything else seems to be working alright. The lighting is still a bit wonky. <laughs> ah, don't crash. What's your favorite music, Sheaves? Uh, I'm not really sure what what genre is, but it's nothing, nothing by no, anyone major. A lot of that music I say sucks. Ah, so you're a hipster. I'm just kidding. I'm uh, more like I like music off of YouTube because it sounds a lot better. Yeah, I'm just kidding anyway. But I do go for like the techno stuff a bit more. Ah, are you in, you're into electronic. I don't know if it's electronic, but it's kind of similar. I think techno uh, is is a subgenre of uh, electronic. Techno is very similar to. Um, I shouldn't talk like I know what I'm talking about though. When it comes to genres <laughs> of music, mm -hmm. I don't really know mm -hmm. how they're all related. I know that techno is related to electronica. 
Yeah, automatic doors. Give me that energy and that hydrogen. Yeah, medical bay. Okay, so this thing is looking pretty crazy. So there's the remote control block, and that timer and those thingies are going to be running the uh, hover script. Yeah, once I figure get it set up. So when you turn it on, it's going to orient this side of the thing vertically. I can't wait to see it move, shoes. Oh, I haven't turned it on. I haven't finished setting up yet. Right. Well, I hope it is soon. Because it's very intriguing. This is it supposed to be doing something. Lift off! Yeah, it's supposed to be doing something that's not wanting to respond. Oh no! Well, so it doesn't have enough thrust to right itself. It doesn't. Does it even have enough power? That's what I was. Just, that's what I just said. Oh, the lights are starting oh. to turn red. Batteries are starting to charge. Yeah, it doesn't have enough power. Hang on one second. Let me see. You power. Let's see, receiving. Yeah, but that's not put enough power need to add some upgrades to it. Right. Well, I just put a nuclear reactor on it. Because that's only, that's even less power than what it's getting. What? Well, so the lights are starting to turn red. I'm just computers. Oh! Oh. <sighs> See, now that time you ran into me because I was standing still. Yeah, but you're standing right there in the way, basically. Uh, don't try and blame this on me, Shoes. I was just watching you. <laughs> they need to fix that, <laughs> like, really badly. Yeah, I have to find my world or two because I think it just rolled off in a random direction. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Could, do you always drop what you're holding in your hand when you die? Yeah, right there it is. Look, look, it's right down there. Did you get it? No, I have to grind away this concrete block to get it. What do you mean? Where is it? Oh, it's down there. Ha! How'd that happen? Silly game. Oops. Well, there's our for Shivas. There you go, you got it. And the door opened for some reason. <laughs> no, I think it might close. Oh, yeah. You work on that thingy. I'll fix the concrete. Well, I have the blocks to fix oh, it. Oh, okay. inventory. Mine kicking my. Isn't Kick your body out of the way. <laughs> Where'd it go, Red. Sheaves? Ah, oh, you hit the base. And I killed. I killed myself. But why did you do that? I accidentally put that much power and I actually put space instead of. You dropped your grinder. Shiva, you crashed it into the base. It's not damaged, was... is it? I don't know. It looks like we just lost the antenna. How did you do that, Sheaves? By accident. Were you manually controlling it and you thrusted too much? Yeah. Let's see. Why are you standing on top of it? Because I'm trying to modify the program to give it a little bit more boost with the gyros. It's slowly going down. Well, this is certainly interesting. Oh, hey, one of your spotlights is gone, Sheaves. What? Why is one of your spotlights gone? I can't four still. I only see three. That's your problem. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> this is very strange. This has got to be the swankiest cargo container ever. It's got it all. Wait, there's still more to come. Man. Even more, um, it's just a cargo container. Pimp my cargo container. <laughs> Wait, what did you just add? Oh, you added a light on top. Yeah, but it's about to do something. Are you gonna make it flash? Yes. Yeah. How else were you able to see it when looking around? I knew you'd make it flash. Feels like I'm jumping on the moon. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna take it out for a spin. Almost done. Okay. <laughs> One thing I do want to do before you do is make a cop blooper. <laughs> Indeed. Save it as a blueprint. <laughs> Ooh, just got a random shiver. There we go. Is it done? Well, actually, should I? Nah. Actually, yes, that would be a good idea to add landing gear. You just hover there. Yeah, but it uses power as it hovers, so... Well, don't we have an infinite supply? Technically, yes and no. Basically, it's draining the base batteries right now. We've got a solar panels. But yeah, night. but what time of day is Obviously, it? Obviously, it's nighttime. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I almost ran right into you and killed you. Ooh. Okay, so now if I go to my menu and I go to cargo drone and go to remote and hit control. Here you go, let me just clean up the, in your, the control list here. And I hit G and go and add camera to number one. And now I can hit one and I can see. So, are you good? Can I fly it a little bit? Yes, you can take it, take it away. Whoa, 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 chiefs. Ah, I just got really scared. For a what second happened? there, I just thought it was going to crash into the ice. Well, wait until day to fly it. What? Wait until day to fly it. I want to take it over to that ore site. I'm good now. I just got to go forward. Use the rover and any markers you see as as reference to the ice level. Yeah. But you should be able to get across from across the um, ice field fine with with the five thousand meter range. Yeah. Just remember you remember when when it gets heavy, do not gun it. Actually, you should never actually gun these ships. That's a rule. Yeah, I got you on that one. Whoa, come on, ship, stop moving. Wait a second. It's taking a very long time to slow down. I definitely overshot my mark. See power, where's the power? Whoa, whoa, sheaves! What? What? Ha what just happened? I don't know what happened. I'm not. I'm right here. I wasn't touching anything. I was just letting it coast, and now the camera is flat on the ground. Uh, it could be just because it max out its power usage at the range you're at. Let me go over to where it is. As I'm doing. It's over at the cobalt and nickel. It's over at Orsite three. Yeah, I can see it. I have my. Uh, no! Don't crash. I wasn't even touching the controls when it flipped over. Probably cliff something with your landing gear. Remember the camera's on top, not on the bottom. Uh, the landing gear is still fine. The ship is still completely fine. It's just on its front now. Oh wow, Steam just said you started playing Space Engineers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep. Oh, hey, it's writing itself. Are you doing that? Or? Yeah. Yeah, it turns out somehow you disabled the gyro that was, that was put in a different mode. No idea how. But there it goes, fixed. Sweet. That's so cool. Mm hmm. I need it over here, though. Well, then take control of it. And we'll make the base. Sweet. I think this is really cool. I'm going to make a mining drill now. I'm going to move this thing over Run. by the mark. Oh, time's up. Anyway, I anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is very cool, Sheaves. Mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of a black abyss. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying... Turn the... What? Turn on the, turn the cargo container spotlight. It is on. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, return to space engineers. We're going to do this, you know, regularly now. Um, mm. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, now that we've figured out why we had lag before and the lag's gone 
So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Stay tuned for future Space Engineers episodes. We're going to start doing some really cool stuff. I'm Stetnal H, and I'm signing out.